You walk up to the start, your hands get sweaty, your mouth gets dry, the hair starts standing in the back of your neck. Because you know what can happen down there. Coach gives you a little pat in the back, moves to the side, you test your finger spikes. They feel good. Visor goes down, click, you grip the handles, and that's one, two, three. And you paddle furiously to build up speed. And you lay down. And in no time, you're doing 50, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. And, and as the speed increases, so does the fear. And the world's just doing this. And you're focused on a spot about 30 feet in front of you, just flying down that track. And people watch us on TV, they think all we do is hold on and pray, right? <laughs> well, if you hiccup, if you hiccup, that could be enough of a motion to cause you to slam against the wall and crash. It's true. If it's your turn to go and you get the hiccups, you can have a rough ride. <laughs> and it's not smooth, because on TV it's like, oh look, it's a water slide, how fun. No, it's a water slide on steroids, that's what it is. It's, it's not even smooth, it's bumpy. The whole way down you're going, skin double the whole way. My legs, that's like doing this with a car, that's for emergencies, hardly ever do it. So it looks like we're just taking a little ride. No, it's nuts, it's crazy. Now, how are you going to stop? You cross the finish line, how are you going to stop? You got no brakes. Well, you force yourself to sit up on the sled, and as soon as you do, boom, boom, you get thrown back with an 80 mile an hour wind. You grip the front of the sled, pull it up, dig your heels in, and slow down, slow down, slow down, stop. And as soon as you step off the sled, the adrenaline rush hits you. The fear hits you like a sledgehammer. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. Forget it. Forget it. I'm going back to soccer. Soccer's warm. <laughs> soccer's soft. You don't get hurt in soccer. I was a soccer player. <laughs> what was I thinking? Why did I do the luge? Why did I do ping pong or something like that? Curling, that'd have been good. No, and you want to quit with every fiber in your being because the fear is that strong.